In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called dividing rational expressions involving linear expressions. We're asked to divide these two fractions. And to start, we should recall that division for fractions, we turn into multiplication by taking the inverse of the second fraction, flipping the top and bottom. That turns division into multiplication. So to rewrite from the beginning, our first fraction stays the same. We turn division into multiplication by taking the reciprocal or flipping the second expression. So the 2x plus 16 moves to the top and the 3x plus 7 moves to the bottom. And now that we have multiplication, we can get started by first factoring each of these four expressions, the two in the top and the two in the bottom, with the goal of seeing if anything will cancel. So starting in the upper left-hand side, 15x plus 5. For those two terms, they have a common 5 that we can factor out. Factoring out a 5 from 15x leaves us with a 3x, and factoring out a 5 from the 35 leaves us with 7. In the bottom, we can factor out an 8, and factoring out an 8 leaves us with only an x in the first term, and for 64, if I factor out an 8, that leaves me with an 8 inside. For the second fraction, in the top we have 2x plus 16, meaning we can factor out a 2, leaving me with an x and a plus 8 inside after factoring out the 2. And in that denominator, 3x plus 7, nothing factors out, so I'll just bring that over 3x plus 7. And now that we have two fractions being multiplied, we can look for any opportunity to cancel in the numerator and the denominator. And the first thing we notice is that there is a 3x plus 7 in the numerator that will cancel with a 3x plus 7 in the denominator. There is an x plus 8 in the numerator that will cancel with an x plus 8 in the denominator. And then for the numbers, we also have a 2 in the numerator and an 8 in the denominator. 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 also goes into 8 here four times. So we have done a lot of canceling, so much so that in the numerator, the only thing I have left is a 5. And in the denominator, the only term that I have left is the 4. So we have simplified this all the way to 5 fourths. 